I started baking 20 years ago, uh, not in the United States, and it's only 14 years ago that I came to the United States as an investor, uh, as an investor to start this baking business. Uh, first, I started with uh, wholesale baking, which is called whole German bread. And the reason why it's called whole German bread is because I learned how to bake in Germany. Um, I, I learned from a very passionate German baker that shared that passion to me and then I mixed it with a uh, different experience with my Italian heritage and a little bit of uh, the cosmopolitan background that I always had. So I joined Andrea uh, in the end of 2021. We, we have been good friends for over 10 years and two years ago we decided yeah. to join forces and uh, keep on growing the business as you see it today and obviously the objective is to continue growing it with the same values, same standards, uh, same quality, and uh, same tradition that we both share from being both from originally from uh, uh, European background, Italian, Spanish, right. yeah. Uh, so we're gonna, again, continue in this mission of bringing good food, uh, good in a good atmosphere where you feel at home, uh, like you would feel at home back into your your own country. Right, we, we feel at home. We are hoping that our customers feel like they have traveled uh, to Europe in a very short moment. <laughs> so, from the beginning of the year, we also started this venture of roasting our own coffee. Um, so we are procuring the, the beans from uh, all parts of the world and making our own medium uh, roast, uh, dark roast, uh, our decaf, and we, are, we started just now offering a French roast. Uh, so we are expanding not only um, for coffee to be sold in our cafe, uh, but also uh, retail packaging. Um, so you can bring home the quality of the coffee that you have in the cafe back, back home. Since we are um, a company that makes fresh every day, what we don't uh, sell, we donate. Every day uh, we collect uh, the bread and pastry that was uh, left over from the previous day. So nothing in our shops is basically a day old. Uh, so pretty much nothing gets tossed. Uh, and uh, the product that is uh, left over, it's, uh, it's donated. Thanks, Panettone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Every time we think about growth, since this is a company that uh, has quality as its foundation and uh, the growth has to be always uh, quality supervised and, uh, and that's, a, that's a great challenge. When it's quality first and not profit, uh, profit first, then you're constrained to operate in a certain way. And, and maybe we're doomed, we, maybe our growth is going to be limited, uh, but uh, we are never going to cut corners and, uh, and go over that rule. So you know, anything that we can do, preserving what we do, the way we do it, the way we like it. The moment I'm not going to be proud about taking my panettone and eating and thinking it's the best panettone for me and my family, then I'm not going to make it. Uh, and so with the bread and everything else. So 